Hello and welcome to ReTV. Today, as a very special treat, I make... Fire. Oh, it's sunny. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't try and film it. <laughs> this is Callum. Say hi, Callum. Hello, viewers. Viewers. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to do today, Callum? Uh, make a Viking murder pit, apparently. A Viking murder pit? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think it is we're going to do? <laughs> you? I don't know. We're making a Viking long pit, which is to cook in, um, not to murder in. Oh. Not to barbecue. <laughs> We built a fire. <laughs> now we're using it. Mm. And so there was my Viking fire long pit. It's what the Vikings used to cook in in their long houses and it's amazing. This brings me to a brand new series looking at all the different ways that God uses to describe himself. And one of the things that God describes himself as is Fire. fire is used two ways in the Bible to describe God. The first way is by a guiding light, a pillar of fire, something we can see and follow. Even if you're not a Christian, even if you think I just talk utter nonsense and only watch these videos for the weird things I do, you've got to admit there are times when we all need guidance. We all need a great big whopping arrow that says, that way and that's what god promises to be something to help us make decisions in our lives and know the right way to go i find that really helpful the second way that fire is used in the bible to describe god is something that consumes something that burns things away where's my match when i strike this match the fire doesn't stay in one place it continues to burn and consume the wood like so one of the best things we can do as humans is look for the things in our lives that aren't very healthy and smooth them away grow mature become something even better become the best versions of ourselves. God being God, the closer we get to him, the more he rubs off on us. It's like accents. I can't help myself. If I hear somebody's accent that's different to mine, I immediately start imitating it. So when I hang out with my wife, who's American, I sound more American. When I hang out with my friends from London, I start sounding a bit more posh. When I hang out with my family from Blackpool, I sound more Northern. The same thing's true for God. The more you hang out with him, the more you become like him the more you become the healthiest, best version of what we're meant to be. Because, you know, God's perfect. And his character and his heart rubs off on us. It burns away the stuff that isn't so good and gives us a light and a 
passion for the best things in this world. We start caring about other people more than ourselves. We want to fix the brokenness in the world. I just think we become better humans. So knowing God as fire is actually something quite epic. Hopefully this has been helpful and fun. Do make your own fire pit, but ask your parents permission first, because it'd be weird if they walked into the garden and just found fire where the plants used to be. So have a brilliant week and we'll see you again. Thank <laughs> you.